Good morning everyone. I welcome all of you to the morning reflection. Let us all sing the hymn as it is screened. Few days ago, we have celebrated Christmas, remembering the birth of Christ, observing the mysterious event in the history that eternity enter into the temporality. Now, there is a seminal question which still remains and setting the siren call for the Christian community. That is, what is the purpose of Christ's incarnation? In the recent past, we could witness some sort of mockery over Christianity to the extent of saying that Christ is a magician and thus became a laughing stock. The reason for this pathetic situation is that it is assumed that the primary reason for Christ's arrival is to perform certain miracles as recorded in the Gospels. It is because of this rigid understanding of Christianity, the aforesaid pathetic condition prevails. But what then is the primary reason of Christ's incarnation? The answer for this one could find in the Gospels and from the writings of the Apostles who followed Christ's teachings. It is to bring some reformation in society about life it is to eradicate discrimination of any sort. It is to remove the superstitious belief from the people's mind. The principal value of Christ's teaching could be found in the Gospel according to Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, 
St. Paul also writes that bear one another's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. He say that it is the law of Christ. Many in the Christian world believe and long for the gift of the Holy Spirit. But it is the fruit of the Holy Spirit that brings salvation. Gift of Holy Spirit is what we receive from God but the fruit of the Holy Spirit is what God expects from us. And they are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Finally, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 set a model for all of us, for all the Christians. And I read one verse from it, and that is 1 Corinthians 13th chapter, 4th verse. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you and praise you for this day added in our life by your grace. Thank you for the providence, benevolence and guidance. We thank you, Lord, for the wonderful opportunity given to each one of us to work in Madras Christian College, which bears witness to the truth. We pray for the principal, Bursar and other administrators. Help them and guide them in the situation of crisis. We also pray for the teaching and non-teaching staff and also to our beloved students. Give us your strength and wisdom so that we also bear witness to the truth. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.